Hey, well, praise the Lord who helped us to catch these uh, fish today. Uh, trolling Flat Creek, uh, very similar to the techniques. Uh, uh, the striped, striped bass here came on lead core, and uh, he was caught on uh, this spoon here. And uh, a friend gave me this, so I'm not exactly sure what kind it is. It says Dixie Jet, and it's this kind of silvery color. And I put uh, the little spot on it there with the blaze orange nail polish, which I kind of do that to a lot of the lures. And another look in the good, good book. Don't let it pass you by. Let the Holy Spirit talk. Walk through the written word of Jesus. Then you, you, you love Jesus. La 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 la. hooked up with a probably about a four or five pound striped bass about 6 30 in the morning or maybe closer to seven by the time we had rounded the corner real close to the fc6 channel marker and uh lead core 150 feet back probably about 15 feet down trolling about 2.4 miles an hour on this rapala here And uh, you can see it kind of looks like an x wrap but it's not an x wrap It's got kind of some rattles in it and a, a shallow wobble. I got him all the way to the boat and the Rapala broke and the four to five pound striper got away. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this here, but this guy is a rainbow trout. And uh, one of the guys on the boat caught the rainbow trout. Oh, that, that's a trout. Trout. Wow. caught the rainbow trout when we were passing the FC8 uh, channel marker and it was on this uh, Michigan Stinger spoon this is the Stinger size and this was trolled 50 feet back uh, behind this size uh, dipsy diver or walker deeper diver so that probably put him about 10 feet down which was right below the thermocline thermocline still at 8 feet uh, the, the top surface waters getting close to 83 degrees Fahrenheit. I should mention, we didn't actually catch this one in Flat Creek. We caught this one in Ballast Creek. Uh, trolled up and down. After we had the striper get off, we were catching dink bass. We uh, caught and released about four dink bass with skin stinger spoons and a little Rapala like the one I showed you. Um, but I said to myself, well, got to go back to the Ballast Creek boat ramp anyway, and maybe the fish you're stacking up in Ballast Creek just like they are in Flat Creek. Now it's harder to troll the area in Ballast Creek where the creek channel uh, gets about 50 feet deep. Uh, but we decided to dead end troll, meaning that we go past the point where you can turn around because the creek's too narrow to turn around. And then you just have to reel in all the lines as the water gets shallower and shallower as you go up the creek. So I primed my guests and I said, hey guys, maybe we could dead end troll. And if, if a fish bites, everybody else kind of has to reel in the other lines uh, because you're running out of real estate pretty quick. So sure enough, uh, we make one of the last turn and we, we got about several hundred yards to go before we need to have all the rods in. And, and this guy hits the, uh, the spoon that I showed you. And uh, we got lots of tangles. We had to hand over hand to get him in. But hey, we got the fish. Uh, the Lord Jesus was faithful. Bringing him in by hand. Bring him into that, Jimmy. Oh, got him. All right. Written in the word, in the good, good word, is a message from our God. Gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. The good life. Written in the word, in the good, good word, is a message from our God. Gonna tell you all about how to get to the kingdom. Good life. Oh, I love Jesus. La 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 la.